Hello everyone, this is Adrian Ramos, your instructor in System Integration and Architecture. So our topic for today is about introduction of tools and system integration and architecture. So meaning to say, what are the tools that we will use in our subject? So let's proceed to the tools. So the tools that we will use are the Sublime, SAMP, Web Browser, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. So let's proceed to the definition of the tools. So the definition of Sublime. So Sublime Text is commercial source code editor. So it natively supports many programming language and markup language. Users can expand its functionality with plugins, typically community build, and maintain under free software license. To facilitate plugins, Sublime Text features a Python API. So basically, Sublime Text is a text editor that may use a programmer. So it is used for coding and programming language and markup language. So when we said programming, so this is examples of C++, Java, PHP, and etc. So when we said markup language, it is a system or it a system that we will use in HTML. So this is the logo of Sublime. You can download Sublime in this link. So tignan nyo na lang yan. So, let's proceed to the next tools. So, the next tool is SAM. So, SAM is a free and open source cross-platform web server solution stack package developed by Apache Friends, consisting mainly of the Apache HTTP server MariaDB, which is the database, and interpreters for scripts written in the PHP and Perl programming language. So when we said open source, this one, it refers to the something people can modify and share because it is designed is public, publicly accessible. So meaning to say, itong SAMP na to is binid nila para ma-share nila sa mga tao na kaya nilang mag-design through the um, through the web ay through the SAMP so ginagamit tong SAMP para um, um, SAMP is used to create a server for our database in order us to connect our programming and markup language so ginagamit siya para i-connect natin yung programming language natin and yung HTML codes natin so, this is the logo of our SAM. So, you can download this application in this link. Yan. So, let's proceed to the web browser. So, web browser, it is commonly referred to as a browser. So, it is application software for accessing the World Wide Web. So, when a user requests a web page from a particular website, the web browser retrieves the necessary content from a web server and this and then displays the page on the user's device. So, why browser is important? So, nga, bakit nga ba importante yung browser sa um, tools natin? So, it is because we will be using it to show up our works results. So, ginagamit natin ito para magkaroon ng output yung work natin para makita natin kung ano nga ba yung kinocode natin. So, meaning to say, ito ay ginagamit. Gaya ng sabi ko, ginagamit natin ito para makita natin kung ano yung kalalabasan ng code natin. So, these are the examples of web browser. We have Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, and 
so on. So next, so HTML. So the hypertext markup language or HTML is a standard markup language for document design to be displayed in a web browser. It can be assisted by technologies such as cascading style sheets and scripting language such, such as JavaScript. So when we said um, HTML, it is um, so HTML is the standard markup language for web browser. So the news of markup language is to give a logical structure. So when we said logical structure, it is a tags or for example is um, codes for the sublime is HTML is paragraphs, headings, tables, labels, quotes, um, and etc. So these examples of visualization of an HTML document or HTML page. So we have there uh, visualization. We have an HTML um and the end line of html and the html contains the head and the end line tag so in the center of the head 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 tags it contains the page title which is yung title natin while the bodies um we have the bodies and the end line of the body so, dito sa body, dito na natin ilalagay yung mga iba't ibang HTML codes natin like yung heading 1, paragraph 1, yung mga yan. So, this is an example of HTML document or an HTML page. So, let's proceed to the next one which is the um, CSS. So, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. So it, des it describes how HTML, HTML elements are to be displayed on screen, paper, or in other media. So CSS saves a lot of work. It can control the layout of multiple web pages all, all at once. So meaning to say, um, ginagamit ang CSS uh, kasi siya yung nagdi-design ng mga codes natin. So example is yung background color. Um, color of the font, the font style, which is yung, um, ano nga ba yung font style, yung mga um, font na style natin, like yung Calibri, um, Tahoma, Bookman, Oldman, mga ganon, and the font size, and so on. So, um, CSS, ito yung nagpapaganda, nagde-design ng mga web page natin. So, examples of CSS, like yung inserting um, pictures, it's um, CSS and the videos. Yan, mga example na yan. And the last one, which is the JavaScript. So, JavaScript is also a programming language for the web. So, it can update and change both HTML and CSS. It also can calculate, manipulate, and validate data. So, para lang siyang it, um, PHP na pwede siyang... Um, Mag-calculate like yung math, 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 pwede siyang mag-math and manipulate the data, pwede rin mag-insert ng, uh, magbato ng data through the database and mag-validate ng data. So, meaning to say, JavaScripts ay ginagamit para ma-update or ma-modify pa yung HTML at CSS code natin. So, that that's the end of our um, discussion. So let's go in, uh, let's proceed to the our let's proceed to our laboratory which is I'm going to explain the simple um, HTML code and the CSS code and the JavaScript code